The Kelly family are on the road to a million supporters on TikTok. Jay and Gabrielle Kelly met while attending Austin P together in 2015. Yeah, she slid in the DMs. Oh my gosh, but I asked the question. I asked the question. That's what you wants to say. It's and like, you know what's crazy is around that time that song goes down in the DMs. <laughs> right that came out. So every time someone asks, how do we meet? I'm always saying she I asked in him, the DMs. The thing is, is I asked him a question and I was like, hey, we lost him because he was a fine football player at Austin Peay. I messaged him yeah. asking him to go to Austin Peay, but he asked me to go to the movies. The first... Well, I wanted to see... I the know, first time I messaged. I mean, I had my eye on her already. Oh, oh had, now you want because we have we have followed each other. <laughs> Years later, now they are a family of five, with Nevea the oldest, Jeremiah the middle child, and baby Nova Lee. They have become TikTok famous for their lifestyle and family content. When we were in the house for like a what? How long we were there? Well, I didn't have to go to work for like at least a month. It was like so, a month and a half because of the whole thing. It had just hit, so we were like, man, let's. We just created. Cause she had it was normally her makeup account. Like she would just post makeup on there, and she finally started recording me. Yeah, and I posted. I just posted a regular video. I was just like, I wanted to post like my content too, not just makeup. And I just wanted to put like life stuff and everything, real life stuff. And I think it was one video where I picked him up from work, and he was walking um, to get in the car, and I kept driving. 2020 F-150 for less than ever, and then pick your one dollar gift. Choose from Yeti coolers, sound systems, okay, so TVs, video game systems, and more. It's Dollar Days at Automax Ford. Come on, bro, stop playing. That's how it all started. Once we hit like 10,000, we were like, whoa. And then once it hit to 100,000, like within a month, we were like, what the heck is going on? And then it just became a job. Uh, campaigns started rolling in, brand deals, and it just, everything changed. This was their first video to hit over a million views. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah loves to eat. He's like obsessed with food. And he was um he was running down the sidewalk with my daughter and I was like, "Look how Jeremiah will act when I tell him I have a cupcake." And as I was recording him and he was running down to get a cupcake, Jay's over here on the kid's scooter, on the Elsa scooter, and he's just going like super fast and then he flies off to the grass area. They also have a few long-running jokes in their videos. So every time I wake up, I ask my husband, like, it's on the weekends when he's, like, home. I'm like, can you give me Starbucks? And he's like, heck no. I think I said, you better Starbucks your way downstairs. Yeah, like, you better <laughs> go to that from there, there. It was like, oh my god. I played the song Options every time he says no to me. Get treated that way. If he wants you, he'll do anything for you to stay. If not... Being an influencer online is unsurprisingly sometimes difficult, but they've learned with their following that what does best for them is just for them to be themselves. At first it bothered me a lot, but I'm oh, yeah. kind of used to it where I'm just kind of like... It, it, it put us to a point like, dang, do we really want to wow. keep doing this? But then yeah. I was like, nah, we're we gonna just don't care that. what people say. Nah, because... we just don't care. I always tell her all the time, like, stop reading the comments because you, you're going to get your people that like us and then you're going to get the people that don't like us no matter what we do as far as it being comedy or anything and sometimes i do and it, but i'm human like i like to respond to people because i like to say like oh thank you i want them to let them know like i do care about what they say i don't want them to think their comments don't mean anything they don't know what kind of people are and i always tell my husband like if they really knew what kind of people and we were, honestly, they wouldn't be saying this yeah, and you can't really judge us off of 30 or 60 seconds yeah. The Kellys credit all of their success to their supporters over the years. We don't ever like to say followers fans, or fans. fans. We mm -hmm. just, we love all of our supporters. Because we always let them know, like, if it wasn't for you guys, like, really, we literally yeah. wouldn't be here. Like, it's them. Like, we would not be here for it. And I feel like a lot of influencers kind of don't, like, thank them. They, they, they just say, oh, you guys are my fans. But they don't remember that you would not be there if it wasn't for them. I mean, if they were to see us out in public, too, like, they don't ever Oh, yeah, be come shy. up and talk like, to us. Like, we, we're in North we People it. are scared to come up to us. They'll message us all the time and be like, I'm scared. I'm like we're just mm -hmm. normal people we would love for y'all to come and mm -hmm. take a picture you know talk to us hang out follow the kelly family on their journey on tiktok youtube and facebook with clarksville now i'm angela peterson